All right, I think I found some content for today's video that might be interesting if I could pull it off. And it is going to start over here at this EV Go charger named Brent. And it looks like there's some people over there. Dang it. I might have to wait. I'm going to have to wait because I really want to try this. Oh my God, they put a new pump in. That's not what I wanted to see. Okay, it's been a long time since I've been here, but Brent, my one machine that is hidden behind a strip mall used to have a tesla adapter or charger on it used to have three it had chatamo ccs and a nax they took out the nax i was gonna try and charge at a tesla cable here that wasn't a supercharger because a lot of eb goes have been putting in the three some and some other stations have been pulling out the chatamo there and putting the tesla charger in along with the ccs but uh they put a whole new tall machine the other one used to be short it was a short stubby one about here had everything in it and uh i'm gonna have to drive around and see if i cannot find an EV Go or another company that has all three units i gotta learn how to do it this way all three units you guys ever do that i always do three like this but you're supposed to do three like that this kia just plugged in I think it's a Kia. Yeah, this Kia just plugged in, so they're going to take a while. They are at 30%. I know they charge pretty fast, but this machine only charges at 50 kilowatts. So I know Steph stuck in a truck takes 11 minutes at a 350 kilowatt charger. At a 50 kilowatt charger, this is probably going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and head out, get a car wash, and I got some things to do at work. But man, I really wanted to test the Nax, the Tesla chargers on a non-Tesla supercharger. Okay, Penny a Sixpence EV texted me last night and got a question from a user, or not a user of the adapter yet, but did have a question. And it had to do with the speeds. And I don't have the question in front of me because I am, my camera's back here. I'm actually using my phone right now. I don't have the question offhand, so I just kind of got to remember what it was. And it was a really long paragraph. It was, I think the gentleman drove like a 2013 or something, an older Nissan Leaf that had a 24 kilowatt hour battery. Would this adapter help him? He, I think he said that sometimes he plugs in and it's high, you know, it charges up high. Like right now I'm at 73 now I'm at I'm at 74 and it'll stay there for a while and then as its battery starts to fill up it, and heat up it the charging speeds drop down a little bit it, that's supposed to do that but this gentleman has a 24 kilowatt hour battery it says sometimes it, you know he only gets like 40 miles per charge it's an older battery and um, will this help him or something what would the Tesla adapter be like for him um, I don't, I, honestly, I don't know. I'm still testing the Tesla part out, obviously. Um, I've had it work almost every time. It did fail a couple times. It wouldn't work. It says your car's not available or not allowed to do that. News column over in California. I'll leave a link to one of his videos. He drives a Chevy Bolt EV. And uh, I'll leave a link to his videos below. Um, he texted or left a message that uh, in the Tesla app, sometimes the chargers will pop up silver and some are red. We could only charge at the ones that pop up red. I guess there's version twos. And so far, he said the adapter probably, you know, we can't charge it at version two. It's a Tesla thing. But the other versions of the chargers, we can charge at. So um, that's the information I know. I, and, and I think that I was trying to charge it a version two yesterday and it didn't work. And uh, so that's one of the reasons. But back to the 2013 Nissan Leaf that this guy's having issues with and wants to know if these adapters will work. I honestly can't tell you. I could tell you right now that the Chatamo or the CCS Chatamo adapter would definitely help you out a lot, especially if you only get 40 miles and if you have a, a large, a lot of CCS chargers around you. Yeah, it's going to be a game changer for you. Um, as a matter of fact, when I'm done charging here, I got to go to work real fast, drop my car off, hop in my RV, take it over to my son's house to finish it, getting it ready, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting rid of it. 
and so I got to clean it out and do some stuff. And then I have a 2013 Nissan Leaf that I let my son have, but he got another car, so I'm going to grab my 2013 and get it back. And so I'm going to go over and drive my 2013 back to where my 2021 is parked. And in on the on, in route, I'm going to stop by Walmart, which has an Electrify America 350 kilowatt machines, and I'm going to charge the 2013 Nissan Leaf at the 350 kilowatt using the CCS adapter. So uh, the person that left that that comment to uh, on Penny's <coughs> thing on Sixpence EV, um, I hope you get to see the video because I'm going to do exactly what you're asking her the question of, and hopefully it'll help you out. But first I gotta get this done, get a car wash and continue on with the day. So there's not gonna be a bunch of travel stuff in this video, it's just gonna be basically charging. So anybody that's hoping to see some travel stuff, it's not happening today. It's just, it's just this is strictly a test video and to answer questions if it's going to work for you and will it work on a 2013 leaf with a small battery i know it will but uh i am curious also what that gentleman brought up about the charging speeds will i know the 2013 can charge up to 50 kilowatts will my 2013 nissan leaf charge at 50 kilowatts and if so for how long we'll find out okay it's starting my original nissan leaf is back in my possession and I am going to go charge it using the adapter yeah, my son hasn't taken the best care of it but uh, yeah it, it's it's gonna be just fine oh, oh. oh my god oh turn this down okay this is old-school Nissan Leaf that's the infotainment center it really doesn't have one it just has radio basically try and watch tv on this little screen look at that and then look at that holy cow so this is basically a full charge it's lost a couple bars obviously only 59 miles this is so cool man it's so so ancient all right but it is now mine again my son got another new car. He got his a new Santa Fe or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, back in my possession. So I am going to head on over to Walmart and let's test out the, the Chatamo adapter, the CCS, and see what it does over there. Two is, I'm at, like I said, 100%, so I got to burn a little bit of electricity. <sighs> Hello, Cousin Eddie. You look happy sitting there. Okay, driving a 2021 Leaf and jumping back in a 2013 is way different. It feels so much different. This is just crazy feeling. I mean, it still drives nice. I mean, well, granted I'm on a little tiny country road that you only want to do five miles an hour on, but, uh, ugh still has that power still has that leaf power this thing's flying pretty good down these roads man i forgot how good this old car feels i am at 80 percent let's test this out okay the one thing i like about this well i don't like the fact that the older leaves have a much smaller trap door here but i do like the fact the way it's angled the adapter actually hangs down a little bit putting less strain but it is working I'm at like I said I'm oh I'm at 85 percent so my speeds are really slow eight kilowatts it's just ramping up because I'm already really high I got a got a lot of charge in there still but it is working but I can't let people know what the charging speeds are like just yet because I have to actually drain this down some so I'm going to have to drive it to my work and then maybe drive it back, get it down to like maybe 8% battery or something like that. Then we could test out the speeds. But good news is the adapter does work. It's 
actually zero issues on a 2013 with a 24 kilowatt hour battery. Yeah. Just wish it was getting higher speeds at 86, 86%. So good news is it works just fine. Bad news is the battery was has too much of a charge in it to do any speed test. Yeah, it's oh, got to start it up. Oh, that's right, you got to touch the brake. There it goes. Back all this up. Oh, I miss those sounds, those noises, the do 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 do. Hmm. Let's go take this to work and park it, and then maybe tomorrow I'll come back with an empty charge and see what the speeds are. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I know it doesn't really help much showing the speeds that an older car can get, but it does show that the adapter does work. That's something. Keep an eye out for future videos because I will test this one again when the battery is way down there. Until then, peace everybody.